Hi guys, it's the start of our frozen embryo cycle and it's cycle day two so we start the injections today. Sorry I look so rough, I've got no makeup on, my skin is really bad at the moment so I apologise. So let's, and it's literally been about five, six months since I last did any injections so it seems like we're starting all over again. It's all really new. Um, oh, it's really hot today. I've got hot flesh. Okay. So, let's see. Everything. Okay, so you've got your Sharpies bin. I've got my injection. I've got my draw up needle and my needle to inject myself. I need some alcohol swabs. I'm not put any in. Um, so I'm going to try and video myself injecting every day or pretty much every day so I'm going to do a little bit of a um, IVF diary where is alcohol swaps uh, this is my um, bag that I had last time oh, there's some preserving in there um, so I'll be taking 0.5 mils of bucerolin. I'm trying to find some alcohol swabs. So I couldn't find an alcohol swab, but I've got a makeup wipe. It's not ideal, but it'll just kind of clean the area. I'm going to get some alcohol swabs later on today. So... So I've got my bucerolin here. And this is 1mg ml. So it looks like that. And you just want to flip off the lid. Obviously, you would wipe it with an alcohol wipe, but this is just a makeup wipe. I mean, like I said, it's not fantastic, but I forgot to get some. This seems so weird. I haven't done this for so long. I never thought I'd be doing this again. <laughs> so you want to get your big needle. Pop that on the end. Take the lid off. And... There's like a little um, plastic um, top, so you just pierce the um, needle through, turn it upside down, and you want to pull, so you've got all, you see the numbers there, you want to pull 0.5. I'm actually going to push it back in just because there's loads of air inside. Sometimes it's good just to take just a little bit more just because there is normally air bubbles in the end there. So I'm just going to flick any, oh, any air bubbles out. And put the needle back on. Obviously you want to take that one off because you don't want to inject yourself with that. And then get your smaller needle and pop that on the top, take the lid off and then push up a little bit 
There you go, just so all the liquid comes to the top. And you see like little bubbles coming out there. Just got another bubble there. So here goes. This is my first injection for a frozen embryo cycle. Just get the hair out of the way. So I don't know if you can So I don't know if you can see this very well, but here goes. You want to obviously wipe the area, preferably with an alcohol swab, but I've just got the uh, makeup wipe. And you can either, so I've got dog hairs all over my, <laughs> all over my leggings. Um, you want, I'm doing it in my stomach, you can do it in your thigh, and so you want to pinch the area, obviously, the, uh, some people might not have anything to pinch, but the skin or the fat, and, <sighs> breathe out, <laughs> bracing myself. I didn't even feel that. And then just press it in slowly. For some reason when the needle goes in it doesn't hurt, but then when you're pressing the bucerolin in it hurts a little bit. Sometimes it does burn. And then just count to five. One, two, three, four, five. And lift up. And that's it. Put your lid back on and put this in your Sharpies bin. So sometimes there might be like little blood spots, there's nothing there. And that's that. So it's day one of my Bucerolin injection and I will see you tomorrow. Hi guys, it's day two of um, taking my injections. So it's cycle day three. Sorry, it's in the morning, I can't think. <laughs> so here goes. So I've got my uh, syringe. Big needle. Put the needle on the top. Take the lid off. Sorry, I've got really bad hay fever I'm sniffing. And then like that. And then draw up five. I'm actually going to draw up six just because you can see there's a massive big air bubble there. So I'm going to draw up six because most of that is going to get pushed out because it's air. <clears throat> so you just need to flick it to get all the air bubbles up. That's to the top. So it was five. Put that in your Sharpies bin. And then get your little needle. I say little, it's not little, but little compared to the draw up needle. And I've got some alcohol wipes that I found from the last time. And then you just want to, I'm going to do this side, so I do alternate sides, I don't know if you can see. Um, yesterday I did this side, today I'm doing this side, so just wipe the area, take the lid off, and pinch the skin or the fat, or whatever. Ah. 
true. That really hurt. Sometimes it hurts, sometimes it doesn't. Yesterday it didn't, today it's hurting for some reason. Push it in, count to five. One, two, four, five. Lift out. Make sure you put the lid back on. Put that in your Sharpie. Spin. Wipe over the area. You can see there's like a little blood spot. Yesterday there wasn't, but. Sometimes there is. And that's it. Day two over. It's day four, guys. And I'm on cycle day five. No symptoms yet, I don't think. I thought I had hot flushes, but it's really, really hot here really humid and it's been storming and stuff so I think I've just been hot because of that so it's good that I've not felt anything getting used to doing all the injections now it's just after not doing it for so long you kind of forget but then once you've done it you get back into the swing of things so I did I think I did that side yesterday I didn't film yesterday because I went with hubby he had a business meeting in Brighton so I went with him and went down to the seaside which is really nice so if I sound all bunged up I've got really really bad hay fever so I haven't got a cold it's just the hay fever so I've got 0.5, I don't know if you can see that. <sighs> the very first one I did didn't hurt, but all the other ones they really hurt it. <laughs> really difficult with this hay fever because I can't take anything for it so I'm so bunged up it's horrible one two three four five okay. and that's it guys it's today over hi guys it's day eight of my injections and no symptoms so far I don't think anyway um, I'm feeling pretty good I did have yesterday did have a bit of kind of ache or pain in um, like my ovary area um, but apart from that like nothing else um, I finished my TMI, I've finished my period now um, and I will say that it has been a lot heavier than it normally is but I think that is, sorry I'm going to try and do this in the mirror, in the mirror, <laughs> in the camera, um, I think that is due to me having the NK cell testing because it is an endometrium scratch um obviously i think it's just made it a lot heavier than it normally is um because obviously everything's just tmi again but obviously everything's just coming out so it's still really hot here so i've been like still quite warm but i've been warm before I started the injection, so I don't think that's got anything to do with it. So I've got my 0.5, you can see, I don't know if you can see that, there we go. So I'm still alternating which sides I do it. <clears throat> I 
getting used to it now. Um, ow, 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 ow. It still hurts when I put the needle in. Um, I do it every morning around 9.30, so you're supposed to do it at the, time, at the same time every day. It doesn't matter if you do it in the morning or if you do it at night time. One, two, three, four, five. And that's it. That's all done for today. See you tomorrow, guys.